when you look at intercollegiate athletics, Stanford's the, the, the top in the country and being in a university environment, it'd be the, the best environment in the world when it comes to student athletes. Every recruit we talk to, we show them the amazing campus, we show them the amazing facilities and we say, yep, we know you're going to be blown away with this, but let's get one thing straight, that the facilities to us, they don't matter unless you're willing to work hard. Because what's more important than the beautiful facilities we have, it's the people we put in them. When we recruit players, the most essential element is most definitely not whether they want to turn pro. The simple factor is whether they want to become the best soccer player they can be. We look for guys that have great work ethic, that are full of moral fibre and that can play in our system. And also at Stanford we have to identify people who are going to have the right academic fit and the right personal fit to be able to be accepted here. And with that, that creates a much smaller pool that we can look at. We also have one of the most incredible situations that can be offered to a young man. Sometimes we joke that recruiting at Stanford is so easy because so many people want to come here. On the other hand, it's, a, it's very tough because of the rigorous academic standards that the, the university and the admissions office demand of our student athletes. So it's tough for our coaches to identify the student athletes that want the best in athletics and academics. It's an endless process and a very important process because we need to know we're going to bring in the right people, not just the right player. You're bringing in probably 27, 28, 18 to 22 year old young men and you're trying to create an environment where they have the best four years of their lives. At a place like Stanford, we're getting to recruit some of the best talent to what's arguably the best conference in the country, and so a lot more of the players from this program are turning professional. JJ Koval, he was our senior captain. He now is playing with the Earthquakes. Hunter Gorski, I think he plays as a right back now for the Cosmos. Adam also played for us, he's a forward. Bobby Warshop, he was drafted, I think, by FC Dallas. Taylor Graham's another one, he played for the Sounders. Ryan Thomas played for the Galaxy. And then uh, the last jersey's probably, I mean, my favorite. It's the US jersey. Um, we got all the guys to sign it when they were here training right before the World Cup. So some awesome uh, experiences already in a, in a short time period. Stanford definitely seems like it's a great stepping stone to reach that professional level. I mean, we've seen a bunch of guys that have graduated out of the program that have done it. The first one was Adam John. I think they call him pillow feet. He's got the soft feet, great touch and he had just a phenomenal senior year. That year is kind of my breakout year. Had uh, 13 goals and four assists or something. So that last year really helped me uh, make a push to get drafted. He's had some fantastic games already as an earthquake. In one of his first games, he scored a goal against Red Bull. Um, you know, his favorite player was Thierry Henry and actually scored a goal against his team while he was on the field. Ever since I grew up, I've been the biggest Thierry Henry fan. And uh, to get the chance to play on the same field with him was awesome. Similarly, J.J. Koval went to the Earthquakes the next year. I had been planning to give myself the opportunity to move on to professional soccer, but to me it was very important to, to finish my education. So at the end of my last season, uh, I was taking my last finals. And so I got my degree, I finished up, the draft came around and before I knew it, I was, I was staying in the Bay Area and out here training. It was nice to have Adam here, you know, someone to uh, kind of show me the ropes a little bit, someone I was good friends with. To have those type of success stories I think is key for our current student athletes to look up to. Having that you know, connection to those guys that are just right up the street definitely makes the push to want to become a pro that much easier. You see that it's within reach and so to be able to have that opportunity is really exciting, really motivating and really encouraging. The professional culture at Stanford is top notch. It's very comparable to even here in the pros. Coming from Stanford, I, I felt as prepared as I could be to come into this new environment. The coaching staff, the trainers, everyone in the athletic department really treats us like professionals. We work hard every day just like pros do. The intensity of the training is, is phenomenal. It's beyond anything I've experienced before. We pride ourselves here on the training environment that, that we produce. and We try to get as close to a professional level as we can. And, and the way to do that is, is to have everyone working as hard as they can every single day. And, and Coach stresses that you know, before every training, he's like, I mean, you gotta, you gotta work hard because someone else wants your spot. You know, everyone wants to play and, and the way that you're gonna do that is if you prove that in training. So everyone's working so hard to try and earn the coach's respect, but also make them and their teammates better. It's about making sure they're all phenomenal student athletes. They're great in the classroom, they're gonna get an unbelievable degree, and they're gonna push everything they can to be the best soccer player they can be. 
If everybody's doing that, you have something that can become really special. I'm confident you know, in the program here and that it can you know, get people to the next level. Barrett goes right, Ooh. across, and the punch out goes Ooh. all to the foot of Ty Thompson. We get exposure, you know, to people who want to scout us. We get exposure to, you know, fans that want to follow us that can't reach the game. That was definitely a draw to come to Stanford, as well as, you know, in respect to the Pac-12. It's the best conference in the nation. It's definitely one that I think a lot of uh, people look to when it comes to college soccer and and the best and brightest players coming up. Certainly, if you, if you look at our group right now, Brandon Vincent is that guy. He's got all the tools to be successful, and I think a lot of scouts have already been coming to our games and watching him specifically. This is a kid who, as a freshman, stood out. His athleticism, his decision-making. So then you start watching him, and you realize over a two-year period, three-year period, he's very technical, too. He's played center back and left back for us. He's an absolute machine going forward. He's extremely athletic. He's very quick great left foot and he's tough. How do you know he's going to be a pro and it's just game after game after game, four different scouts have seen him. He will be a guy that will be on a draft board at the end of the day. Links up with Corey Baird, the talented freshman number 10 and he's got Vincent. Oh and it's Brandon Vincent! Absolutely brilliant! The defender with a first class strike! Coming to a place like this I think you know, they give you the, the opportunity to, to prove yourself and to show what you have. It's a, it's a competitive mindset and it's a winning mentality and that's something that definitely fosters itself to, to a professional environment. Being a part of that every day has definitely made that dream more of a reality and something that I want to push for. I think there's lots of gifted and talented people out there, but the people that we really want to work with, the people that we feel will be successful, not just with us, but moving forward, are the people who have that inner drive and that, that true honesty and humility where they're going to be willing to push themselves. You want to be successful at anything, you're going to have to work hard. One, two, three, seven, eight.